Um, I've been a dispatcher for over 15 years. I wanted to know more about how it worked. We have so many different systems and tools and options here in the state of Minnesota that until you actually get everybody in the same area together to face to face and get hands on, it's kind of hard to picture it all. The biggest thing is, is to see people working together for a common cause and making the communications happen so that they can keep communicating and keep messages going back and forth at a time when it's critical. How do they accomplish that? How do they accomplish it when the internet goes down? How do they get a message back and forth? How do they get a message back and forth when their land mobile radio goes down? Maybe this city could have been flooded out. Maybe this city could have been part of a windstorm. What's the normal way of communication? What's the alternate way of communication? What's your emergency way of communication? They make communities far more resilient than, than what they could ever be. To be able to think some of that out in a low stress environment with people who can just talk you through what your options might be, it's very nice. In a perfect world, we would all have an exercise or two like this every year.